Alright guys, so in this video I'm going to be taking through the process of creating your bridge model. So once you're done and you got the checkpoint go ahead, whatever you want to call it from Mrs. Bonds or myself, you're ready to recreate your 3D model within Tinkercad. So the first thing you'll do is log into Tinkercad and create a new design. After it loads up, hopefully you remember my number one rule within Tinkercad is make sure that you rename your design. That way we know it belongs to you and it has a title that we can obviously recognize. So at the very top we're going to click on this whatever gibberish it is now and we're going to rename it, put in your first and last name and then we're going to call this bridge model. So for me I'm going to type in Mr. N bridge model. Hit enter, we're good to go. Next thing we need to do before we move on we need to edit the grid. Right now the grid is way too big, it's not the right size and there's some preferences that just aren't correct altogether. Click on edit grid Units, we want to change it from millimeters to inches. Presets, default, leave it as is. And if you remember correctly, the width of our bridge, how wide it is, it's 2.5 inches wide. The height, this is just referring to like the length. The overall length is 8 inches. 2.5, 8, or vice versa, it doesn't matter. But you have to have 2.5 for one and 8 as the other. Hit update grid. The grid should change, and this is going to create like a platform for which we're going to build the bridge on top of. So hopefully you remember the three most important things when you did your final sketch, your final drawing. One is that one block on your grid sheet equals a quarter inch, so four blocks equals an inch. Um, the second thing would be the pieces that go on the very bottom are made out of basswood, and the dimensions for those are they're around a quarter inch thick so 0.25 and as far as like how wide they are they're an eighth of an inch the balsa wood which is everything else is going to be around a quarter inch or I'm sorry an eighth of an inch in thickness first thing we need to do take a box we need to make this into one of our wood sticks drop it now we have to resize it I once suggest resizing it over here on the right hand side dialog box click on the top that little small area there. The thickness, we want the thickness to be 0.25. Enter. Now, next thing we need to change is how wide this piece of wood is. So we want to click on the corner here. We're going to go over to this dimension here. And the thickness that we're looking for is 0.125, which is 1 eighth of an inch. Hit enter. And right there is our stick of wood. So we're going to stick one here. Now, our length is not even close to being right. We need to make that 8 inches long. So let's zoom out a little bit. Let's see, overall length, right now it's at 1. Type in 8, hit enter, and it should basically take it to the right size. Now, one side has to be that size, and the other side has to be that size as well. So we're going to duplicate this, either with this button up here, or we can copy paste. Duplicate is easy for me, so I like to duplicate. Move it to the other side, just like that. Make sure you zoom in close enough that everything is on top of the grid and we don't have things that are like spilling over the other side. So right now this is perfect. So we have both of our roadway pieces done. Next thing we need to do is we need to model a piece, or actually our side pieces. After we have our roadway pieces constructed, next thing we're going to be doing is making the side pieces that go over here. So from our side view, if we look at it from here, everything that creates our truss. So your triangles, your boxes, whatever you have created. So to do that, it's pretty easy. First thing I would suggest doing is taking your work plane, sticking it right on top of your roadway piece, boom, right there. You never want to attach it to the very bottom. It should be attached to the top, just like this. So next thing we need to do is I'm going to be making just like basically a rectangular truss shape for my outside shape. We have to resize this to the right size. So first, we got to make it the right thickness. 0.125, enter. I'm going to change the color just so I can see a little bit easier against, like make it kind of like a small little like different contrast. 0.125, enter. Okay. Let's move this into the desired location. So we're going to move it in. And let's move it to the side. And make sure you're always zooming in looking close because from that front angle it looked like everything was attached but right now we can obviously tell that nothing's even close. Rotate all around so you can easily get to the left a little bit more. And I think we're just about good. Just move back maybe 
two clicks. Perfect. Good. All right, so we have to make like a rectangular like shape for mine. Yours is obviously going to be a little bit different. So we already know that like the height of this piece is it should be a quarter inch. So the height of this piece should be if we subtract a quarter inch from two inches, that's going to be one and three quarter. So the max height for this one should be one and three quarter. So one point seven five three, boom, like that. So since both my sides are symmetrical, I'm going to have two of these pieces, so I can copy and paste this or duplicate it. Let's move this over to the other side. I can change the snap grid to speed that process up. There we go. It's a lot faster, I'll tell you that. Move it over to this side. Let's change our snap grid back to the 64th. Carefully move it in place. Let's zoom in and take a look at this thing. Okay, gotta move it just a touch. Yep, perfect, good. Notice how everything's nice and flush and lined up. That's awesome. So that's completely done. Next thing you would need to do is create the piece that goes from this top piece to the other. Stick the work plane right on top, just like that. And we're gonna have to recreate this piece going the other direction. So another box, we're gonna size it to the right shape and just go through the process of making it. So I went through, I have a second piece, so two pieces on each side and the piece that comes the whole way across. Next thing, you have to look at your design and you have to figure out, okay, what exactly goes in this space here, this void? So for me, my design, I have three supports, so one, two, and three, and then a couple of diagonal pieces. The supports are the easy ones. The diagonal pieces, on the other hand, are kind of tricky, but I'll take you through that process. Now for this process, I'm not saying everything has to be perfectly symmetrical, but let's try to get it as close as we can. So notice on the bottom of our grid, as I'm moving this across, we have different blocks. So we can count one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That way we're like nice and even and straight. And just rotate around, make sure everything's perfect. I'm going to duplicate that again. And I'm going to move it to the halfway point between there, which should be at the number two spot. There's one. And then we're going to do another one. Same exact thing. And once we got all of our upright support pieces done, the next thing we do is we make our diagonal pieces. Diagonal pieces are probably the trickiest because you kind of have to play around with your sizes until you get everything just right. So it looks like everything's placed just fine here. So if I rotate, all those openings are equal. Perfect. Next thing we need to do, I'm going to duplicate one of these pieces here. And I'm going to take the piece and make it a decent amount longer. So I'd say go about maybe, I don't know, a quarter inch longer than your usual piece. So right now we're at two, two and a quarter. This isn't always going to be a perfect size. We kind of have to estimate and guess right now. So that's the tricky part. We want to go, and if we're putting this at a 45 degree angle to fill that spot, we're going to put it at 45. If it's at a different angle, you'll put it at that different type of angle. We're going to try and fill it inside this void, this area here. And try to be as precise and accurate as possible. So it looks like right there is fine. I need to move to the right a little bit more and I have to force this down a little bit more too. So as you can see we got some issues here. My first one wasn't perfect because it wasn't long enough. As you can see it's not touching here but it's touching at the bottom. That's an issue. They should be touching from corner to corner perfectly. So what that tells me is when I initially went through and made this to a certain length it was not long enough. Now here's the problem. If you try to make it longer this starts to turn into a really weird looking piece. If you take a look, we'll try to like resize it, make it longer. At the ends it'll be weird, but from the corners it should work out fine. So just like that. So once you got one figured out, you should be pretty much ready just to duplicate these. You can copy and paste them and just start moving them and putting them wherever you want. So for me, I think I want to have like kind of like crisscross patterns the whole way across to make X's. Put one there, and I'll keep going down through and keep creating these the whole way down through until I have all my cross pieces created. Okay, and just one more to go. So, paste. Now, instead of going through that whole process again for the other piece that goes in the other direction to make a cross this way, all we would have to do is paste one and then flip it. 
use the flip tool up here and then we're going to find the arrow that flips it from left to right just like that and then we can move it so it's in the opposite direction so we have it just like that let's move it in its final location perfect just like that you just go through that whole process and you start doing all of your pieces just like that please make sure you zoom in really close pay attention to all of your joints and miters and everything make sure like everything's symmetrical and as you can tell there's nothing sticking out too far I don't have any open edges everything's attached perfectly so I spent some time went through create all my trusses my X's all I really did was I got this piece here duplicated it and just kept moving it across and placing it and like I said before make sure you zoom in very closely everything's got to be connected symmetrical which basically means if you split it down through the center it's equal okay so we did all the hard part just there and now so what we want to do next is we just want to group just this stuff together we don't want to group the bottom at all just the top group it together and I taught you guys a while back with your previous project instead of recreating everything from scratch we can just duplicate it or copy and paste so let's duplicate this piece right here so now we can just take this whole piece shift it to the other side and we just basically made our other side of our bridge within a matter of seconds really speeds things up and makes it a lot quicker the tricky part is just getting it lined up so rotate all around it make sure everything's lined up so it looks like we're off just a little bit so we have to take and just like move it around till we're just at that sweet spot perfect just there last thing you need to do is create your roadway pieces so the roadway pieces are the pieces that go across the very bottom so you're going to be able to see this from your top view looking straight down at your project roadway pieces are created out of balsa wood so they're in diameter or I'm sorry in their thickness and width they're the same as these pieces up here so what you would do is you're going to take your work plane stick it right on top of that roadway piece where the basswood is so the basswood is red balsa is yellow we're going to recreate those pieces just like we did before so the height 0.125 enter and as far as like how long they are or the width 0.125 and then we already know from one end of the bridge to the other their overall length should be 2 and 0.5 inches just like that so at this point all we really need to do I'm gonna change that to a different color so you can see it a little bit easier let's change it to like maybe not purple but let's go with like a blue perfect so these roadway sticks we're gonna place them and just put them in the right location according to our plans and just make sure whatever you do it's symmetrical from one side to another let's change the snap gear that way it moves a little bit quicker for us so we're gonna put one right here since we put one there let's copy and paste and put one on the other side same location and we're just gonna go through that same process and just keep putting our pieces our roadway pieces where they belong just one thing I want you to keep in mind like Mrs. Bonds and I told you earlier with your projects make sure this area over here in the center is completely open for the tester if you cover it up then most likely like when we go to build our final model it's not gonna work the way you want it okay so we're gonna paste that put a piece here do that and put a piece over here so we're just about done so the last thing we're going to do is basically put some sticks on the top. So if you look at an end view and it has a U shape, um, you're done. If you have like a box shape, you want to put some sticks across the top for extra strength. Same process we did here. Resize them, use a work plane tool, stick them on top.